Hey again, MIAA fans, and welcome back to this week's episode of the MIAA Network 360 Show. I'm your host, Bethany Bowman. And although this is the last episode of the 2018 season, we'll be back in 2019 at the start of January to give you more MIAA content. In this week's show, we'll catch up with Nate Davis of Pittsburgh State about his role in the NCAA Pathways program. And we'll also catch up with some MIAA student athletes on the campus of Emporia State about what they'll be doing over the holiday break. But first, I want to start out with an interview of a legendary coach in the MIAA, Mel Churchma. He'll be inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame on December 4th in New York City. For the MIAA Network, I'm Bethany Bowman here with Coach Mel Churchma from Northwest Missouri State who will be inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame on December 4th in New York City. Congratulations, Coach. Well, thank you. It's, uh, we're excited about it. Our whole family is going to be there, and uh, it's, a, it's a big event. And like I said, it's a, it's a, it's a tremendous honor. And, uh, you know, you just think of all the people that uh, have been a part of it, and it really makes it special. When you hear your name around the Midwest and obviously around the country because you're getting this recognition here in the Hall of Fame, you just think about winning because you have done a lot of that in your time as a head coach, served as head coach at Austin College and also at Northwest Missouri State. So what was your time like being a head coach? Well, it's, uh, you know, I, I, I was a head coach for 27 years in college and uh, it was a great experience. Uh, the wins are nice, uh, you know, there's no doubt about that. People recognize the wins, but uh, more important than the wins is the, the influence and the impact that you can have on young people. And uh, for me right now, the most gratifying thing is to hear back from those guys and what they're doing and uh, uh, the successes that they're having in their lives and uh, how they impact other people. It, that, that's what it's really all about. In your time at Northwest, uh, a program that needed a boost, I think your first season went winless, but winning seasons all, all the way around after that. Um, seven national title games, won three of those during your time. What was that like? Well, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun to see it turn around. Uh, and the first year was pretty miserable. We were all in 11, uh, but we came back and uh, I had a great staff. Uh, some guys that were really dedicated to uh, and, and believed that we could win. Uh, a lot, most people didn't think you could win in Maryville, Missouri. Uh, I guess we didn't know any better. Uh, we thought we could and uh, we started to win. and. Uh, uh, you know, we developed a team. Uh, we we really our our emphasis was on character. Uh, you know, class and character is what we wanted, and uh, we got good students, uh, kids that were good citizens, and uh, the good football players besides, and it's really paid off. You'll also be inducted on December 4th with coaches Mac Brown and Frank Beamer. And in your profile leading up to this induction, you talked about how cool it was that they don't see you as a Division two or Division three coach. They they just see you as a coach, and the respect level is. Uh, you know, right there, all the way across the board. Well, it is. It's, uh, you know, uh, uh, Coach Brown I got to know pretty well because we were both on the uh, Board of Trustees of the American Football Coaches Association. I don't know Coach Beamer quite as well, but uh, they're both great guys. And, uh, you know, it's uh, uh, they'll tell you the same thing that I just said. It's about the influence and the, the relationships you build with young people. Uh, the wins are there, and uh, they're great. The fans love those. But uh, the re relationships, uh, that's what really counts. And then after your retirement from head coach at Northwest, you became the athletic director there. So obviously you care a lot about Bearcat athletics. And that shows because we're here right now at Municipal Auditorium in downtown KC, and you're supporting the Bearcat men's basketball team. How have they been playing? Well, uh, they, they came back. They, we, we played extremely well. Uh, you know, uh, I think we're 4-0 and uh, a young team. We lost a couple of – we lost Justin Pitts, a great player last year. And uh, – uh, but we're really playing well. Uh, Coach McCollum came uh, one of my last years, well, I think uh, 2007 or 2008. We've become very close friends, and uh, uh, so I, I love to see him uh, uh, do what he does, and he does such a great job with our basketball team. But, you know, we've got a bunch of great coaches at Northwest, and that uh, the five years that I was athletic director, that was really a, a great time for me to work with those young coaches, and we had a great administrative staff. They were uh, a lot of fun to be around, and uh, uh, that was a – uh, kind of a highlight for me when, when my coaching career was over. Well, Coach T, it's been an honor to talk to you, a legendary coach like yourself. I wish I could be at that ceremony in New York City coming up, but we will be looking forward to seeing how it goes and really want to congratulate you from the MIAA for that honor. Well, thank you. It's a tremendous honor. and The MIAA is a great league. Uh, it's the best Division II league in the country. I think so, too. Thanks. So, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> 
We caught up with Senior Associate Athletic Director Nate Davis of Pittsburgh State at the MIAA Men's Basketball Challenge to talk about his new role in the NCAA Pathways program. Considering he was chosen out of many applicants, this is a really prestigious honor. I'm Bethany Bowman here with Pitt State Senior Associate Athletic Director Nate Davis. We're at the MIAA Men's Basketball Challenge in downtown Kansas City at Historic Municipal Auditorium. Pitt State is playing right now. It's halftime. How has the day been like for you? Well, it's been a great day. It's always fun to come to Kansas City. It's a great venue for college basketball. And, um, you know, usually we're here in March, but it's fun to come in November. And we've watched uh, four great games today and um, got the rest of this one and one more to go. And we're looking to get a Pitt State win and, and see what happens in, in the last game. So besides your duties at um, you know, Pitt State specifically, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your role in the NCAA Pathways program. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so the Pathway program is uh, something that I got into this year. It's um, kind of one of the NCAA's top leadership programs, and you apply for it and, and get selected. So it's been a really great opportunity for me. Um, it's been a chance to meet other senior level administrators around the country, and they do a great job with the programming and just a chance to um, work with other folks that have been athletic directors and just really learn from them, get a, build your network. Uh, and, and really it's just been a great experience from start to finish. And we're not done yet, we still got, um, we'll finish up in June, but so far okay. it's been a first class. I know you wouldn't say this, but Commissioner Mike Racy had told me that, um, you mentioned you're selected for it and you were selected out of dozens and dozens of applicants. So, you know, that's a real big honor for you. <laughs> yeah, uh, I would joke that it's probably been a down year in, in the Pathway <laughs> program if they're selecting uh, guys like me, but no, it's, it is an honor and it's something that I'm uh, proud of and, and um, you know, I'm just grateful for the people around me that have given me opportunities and, and for, um, you know, just a chance to represent Pittsburgh State uh, and the MIAA in that program and hopefully, uh, you know, continue to grow in my profession and, and get a chance at someday to be an athletic director. So you being so involved in Pitt State athletics and around the MIAA, what is your favorite part about, you know, guerrilla athletics overall? Um, you know, I just love the game day experiences, and I, and I love getting to meet and, and get to know the student athletes and watch them through their careers. Uh, as a former student athlete, uh, it's just a great time in your life, and so it's really fun for me to kind of see them go through the process and, um, you know, mature and grow and, and, and just that development that takes place. Um, and then, you know, like I said, the game days are awesome. It's fun. It's great to come to a venue like this in, in Kansas City, and um, I tell people all the time my favorite part of uh, college athletics, my favorite week of the year is the MIAA tournament down here. So uh, those types of events and those friendships and relationships are the things that are really important to me. Okay, now I'm going to real quick before we finish up, test okay. your basketball knowledge. Okay. Give me your analysis of the first half for the Gorillas. Um, you know, we're, we're down four here. Um, we haven't shot the ball great, and we've given up some transition buckets. Uh, so we need to probably uh, get back on defense, rebound the ball a little bit, and, and take great shots. And uh, I, think we'll, I think we'll be all right in the second half. Okay, thanks so much, Nate. Yeah, thank you. Finally, I wanted to find out what some of the MIAA student athletes at Emporia State would be doing over their holiday break. Yeah, I'm Mackenzie Porterfield. I play softball and I'm a freshman. And I'm getting a new ACL for Christmas. Well, my name is Davion Scott. I'm on the Emporia State track team. Over Christmas break, I'll be hanging out with family and eating lots of food. My name is Brittany Shepard. I'm on the softball team. And over Christmas break, I'm going to hang out with family and get ready for a great freshman season. My name is Malcolm Dade. I am a part of the track and field. Um, just spending time with family and friends over Christmas break. Hi, I'm Gabe Sams. I'm Grant Canole. I'm Jade Ranke, and we're part of the track and field and cross country team. So this Christmas break, I will be going home to Oklahoma and running a lot. I will be going home to Hillsboro and doing the same and preparing to student teach next semester. And I'm going home as well, just training as always. Hi, I'm Julia Joseph. And I'm Michaela Simons. And we're with Emporia State Volleyball. Uh, for Christmas break, I plan on just spending time with family. Yeah. And I'm going to SMC, a campus ministry conference. Yeah. Hi, my name is Destiny Ojigo. I play softball here. And over Christmas break, I'm going to work and make some money. I'm going to hang out with my family. I'm going to catch up on sleep and get ready for the season. That's it for this week's MIAA Network 360 show. Just a reminder that we will be back at the start of January in 2019 for more editions of the show. On behalf of the MIAA, I want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And remember, bring your A-game.